Motor Week is made possible by Rock Auto and Tire Rack. After the long gas lines of the 70s, we became all too aware that oil supplies will run out sooner or later. And when that happens, what do we run our cars on? Well, auto engineers are trying all kinds of alternatives, and we'll be looking at a few of them in the upcoming weeks. Right now, though, here's a look at one of those experiments in a non-gasoline-powered car. This is the General Motors Technical Center in Warren, Michigan. GM engineers spend a lot of time here testing alternative forms of transportation and power for the future. This may look like any other GM car, but sophisticated engineering, like beauty, can be more than skin deep. Believe it or not, this car is powered by coal dust. Under the hood, similarities between this car and conventional ones end. A turbine engine, similar to a jet aircraft engine, has been modified to burn America's most abundant energy source. Micro-powdered coal is stored in this tank under the hood near the engine. While the coal turbine doesn't at all look like a conventional gas engine, it fits snugly inside the conventional body. Next, here's the heart of the coal-powered system. Modern techniques mean that coal can be pulverized to a finer consistency than ever before. This superfine powder can then be blown by an air pump into the turbine engine and burned much like a liquid fuel. No need for a coal shovel. The performance of GM's coal car is comparable to a contemporary small V8, though it tends to sound like a Boeing 727. GM is working on that one. The coal car, with its turbine engine, does require some unique instrumentation. The driving characteristics and interior layout are quite conventional. Since the current trend is to produce aircraft-styled interiors in a lot of cars anyway, a few gauges straight out of a 727 cockpit aren't out of place. So here's a car that effectively uses the world's most plentiful fossil fuel, coal. And since the U.S. currently has over a 600-year supply of coal, a car like this could be in production for quite a while.